Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. Um, I'm Kelly Walters, and if you aren't familiar with who I am, you will have, well, you will start to see me on Instagram, our stalls Instagram page more. And um, I have been switching off with Jenna Sackett on our Facebook Lives. And of course, I've started to do more and more YouTube videos for Stalls TV. So today we are going over blank apparel. And before we just quickly get started, I am very, very excited about this topic because I have more of an apparel background than I actually do the decoration side. So I'm very comfortable with helping people find the blank garments that they need. And I'm really excited to help connect these dots for you when it comes to um, actually decorating very, very popular blank garments right now. So before we get started, we are going to do a series of polls today. And what this is going to do, it's just going to help us and the webinar team really just make sure that we're providing you guys with the best education possible and that we can understand our viewers. So um, Stacy is on the other side with me today and she is going to help with questions whenever you guys have some and then of course she's going to help along with the poll. So if you see a poll or you hear me ask one, definitely answer them. That way it gives us a better idea of who our viewers are. So let's jump right in and get started. So the first poll we're going to have today is did you know that stalls offered blank goods? So you'll see that in the poll section. Go ahead and just quickly answer that. I'm going to move some things around on my screen. So I am going to get up close and personal with you today. Uh, so just bear with me as I, as I do this. Okay. So, um, this is interesting, which is great because I'm starting to see it fluctuate between some of you knew and some of you didn't know. So I'm really, really excited for those of you that did not know that we offered um, blank goods, that you're attending this, and those that did, I really, really hope you find some awesome pieces to you know then take to your customers. So what we're going to do first is I'm just going to quickly show you all of these garments that we are going to go over um, and then I'm going to take you to the website because I can't share my screen like I normally would on a Facebook live um, I think this is going to be the best flow for us okay really fast I just want to make sure that this is as bright as we can go my screen for me is changing here okay so the first couple of things we're going to talk about are is headwear and scarves it's getting cold out we know this so um, we I will show you where to find these products and also once we review the website and where to find them we're definitely going to go over the best ways to decorate them so stay stay with us um, next is going to be something that we just keep talking about it's not going away and that is tie-dye this is a youth hoodie hopefully you guys can see this a little bit better um, I noticed my screens getting darker and darker so um, up next is a quarter zip that does have the heathered look to it it's two-tone and another reason why this is awesome is because it is hundred percent poly Next up, bringing out some women's goods. This is a very, very on-trend, retail-inspired vest. The material is very, very nice, and I can't wait to dive into this for you. Again, up next is, of course, the Bella canvas, the, the sponge fleece that feels so, so soft. Probably my favorite of the bunch is this cowl neck heathered inspired look. Not inspired, it is heathered. <laughs> Let's see. We've got a very nice luxe quarter zip. It's more of a slub. There we go. Now it's brightening back up. A three in one, which 
most decorators, I would say, might be a little difficult, but as far as maximizing logo potential and overall profit, a three-in-one is absolutely incredible to be able to get into a customer's hands. Not only are they getting three jackets in one, that just means that's more locations for you to be able to decorate. And then last but not least, if you live in the snow towns, Snow will be happening, rain, sleet, um, anything from dry duct or something like, this is dry duck. it is not Carhartt, but anything like this is going to be awesome for those that work outside and work in that environment where you need that tried and true product, no holes. Okay, you guys, so we are going to go ahead and head to the website. So. The next poll is going to be, do you know where to find the products on our website? So go ahead and get that one going. I'm going to go ahead and screen share. All right, you guys, now we are at our website. Um, we are trying to make our website more and more friendly for our customers. And this one you do not have to go digging for. It is right up in front for you. So as you see, we've got stalls, and then the next line, you've got CAD Cut Direct, letters and numbers, custom logos, equipment, and apparel. So it is right there. Just quickly checking. Oh, okay. So the poll is already gone for me, so um, Stacy can fill me in on that one in just a minute. Let's see. Okay. Now that we are back to back pocket for later. Okay, so as you can see, we do have her broken down by sections, just like we would our material. And in this particular case, I'm gonna go ahead and go to sweatshirts and fleece. Now, as this is loading, there is still a search bar. So I'll actually be util utilizing, utilizing that for all of our products today. Okay, so if you have a pen and paper, go ahead and get that out because I'm going to tell you the product numbers for, um, or our style numbers for all of our products today. And um, then I'm just gonna show you where they are on the website. I'm, you know, you guys can read, so I'm not gonna go over every single tiny detail, but I am gonna touch on a couple of key points. And then once we have reviewed all 11 products, I'm gonna take you back to my screen and then I'm gonna show you those details up close and personal. Okay, so the first item we are actually gonna go over um, is the headwear and beanie, the matching set. Now they are actually not called the same thing, but, you know, just to make it a little bit e a little bit more difficult, they are both the royal blue and stripe. So S T A 02 is the Sport Tech Spectator scarf. So let me get my keyboard. Now once you pop it in, just like, oh, and of course, we're not showing. Well, probably because it is in sweatshirts and fleece. Okay, so we are going to do this just a little differently. We are going to go to caps. And then we're going to type in STA02. This is not pulling up. It would help if I was looking for the correct item. So I have the scarf and the beanie, the numbers incorrect on my side. So um, here you can see the spectator scarf. It is going to come in an array of colors. The one we're specifically using today is this royal and white. 
as you can see, the price is not shown. Now, we actually use a Sanmar as our product. So um, this is one of those things where the pricing would show up right here. Unfortunately, if I log out, um, then it won't show all of the colors available. So I'm going to stay logged in. That way you can see everything possible. Now, both the scarf and the beanie are 100% acrylic. Now, when it comes to anything that is acrylic, um, from a testing standpoint, especially when it comes to heat press, I strongly recommend um, being able to test those garments before you do commit to an order. Every acrylic is different, and sometimes they can have different melting points. Um, okay, so with that STC28 is the pom-pom beanie. So then I am just going to go back to blank apparel. Now, you guys, this may take way too much time to go through each individual product. Let's see. Let me pop up my notes again. STC28. And there we go. There is the matching beanie. Now, this one has a lot of logo options, which is great when it comes to decoration. Um, and as you will see, there are not as many color selections, but you still have your main colors. Also, it is 100% acrylic, just like I stated. Um, and just one thing to keep in mind, when you are decorating a beanie, especially a pom-pom beanie, make sure that that pom-pom is off of the press, not directly under the heating element. Okay, we are going to talk about just a couple of others. Um, here we are, let's see, we're going to do my favorite one, like I said. So we're going to go back to blank apparel. Now, the women's um, pullover with the cowl neck is the one I'm specifically talking about. It is LST280. And it's ladies, so I'm going to click directly on the ladies section. LST280. Now, this is the Sport Tech Ladies Triumph. Um, one of the reasons why I really wanted to go over this item is because it is very, very retail oriented. Um, you should be able to go into something like Target. You can find something like this at Athleta or Lulu, Gap. Um, a lot of those retail brands, um, you know, have really modern style, unique uh, pieces and this one has the contrast stitching along with the heathered bodice so one of these things let's see can't even zoom in okay so there are a lot of key points to this you have the front pocket the drop him on the back um, you do have the uh, like I said the contrast stitching which makes it really really popular and um, for this specific item, another thing that is very important to keep in mind is you have multiple decoration locations. Okay, as you can see, there are several colors to choose from as well. Um, this heather gray is the uh, one that we're going to be going over. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen. That way we can just go over the products face to face. Um, in this case, I want to make sure that you really get to see these garments up close and personal um, because you can go to the website and check those out anytime. I'm still going to go over each product style number. So if you find a product that intrigues you, make sure you write it down and then we can go over it. So 
Now we are going to go ahead and break down um, what each product's recommendation is for decoration. So really fast, um, I never want to assume, does everybody, is everybody that is on this webinar actually already have a heat press or um, are you trying to gain, gain ideas? So it would either be yes or no if you do own a heat press. Great, so I'm seeing 100%, which is awesome. I just wanna make sure that we don't leave anybody out. Oh, okay, so I am starting to see it shift just a little bit. Perfect, okay, so if you are here learning more about heat press decoration, we're gonna go over several different types of products to use. So just keep it in mind, um, if you're not quite sure what I'm talking about, feel free to ask the question, and I'll do my best to get it answered. Okay, so like I said from the very beginning, the first two pieces we're going to talk about is the scarf and the beanie. And if you did not catch the product style numbers, the scarf is STA02. And then the beanie is STC28. So now some of our products are decorated today and some of them are not. I want you to be able to see what they look like without having the decoration, but then I also want to show you what some decoration would look like. This is just a standard rugby scarf, you guys. Like I said, it's 100% acrylic. Um, you could either decorate on the white, you could decorate on the royal. Another thing about scarf decoration is you could go vertically um, because you know if something's going to hang it gives you the ability to have a logo this way center or of course at the corner now the next one that i'm going to show you is this beanie and right now we are decorating i hate that this is kind of dark for you guys you can't really see the twill um, detail this is cad prints Perma twill, and it is a twill. It is a full color option, and the reason why I chose this chose this is because it is lightweight. It is a low application temperature, and then it is very easy to go ahead and mimic that same design here. So you can use the same logo in multiple multiple different locations. Okay, so again, um, both 100% acrylic. There's not much to them. Uh, the product that I recommend is Cad Prince Perma Twill or Cad Prince Texture Twill. Um, but if you also want to do a one color design, um, our Cad Cut Soft Foam is a great option. If you are not sure what our Cad Cut materials are, they are, um, that's our brand of heat transfer vinyl, and those are solid roll colors normally. Unless it's got, you know, some type of of texture or picks up light like our um, chroma, uh, cat cut chroma. Okay, so just hanging this back up with the scarf. All right, up next is our Port & Co. We're gonna do the tie-dye, the tie-dye pullover. Tie-dye isn't going anywhere. It is going to be here for 2021. It's coming more in tonal. It is more and more um, different types of styles. So you can see it. This one is more of like a steel blue. It's, it's the navy and a little bit of a gray. Now with um, the Port & Co, the material we are really recommending right now for fleece is our CAD Cut Soft Foam. It has a little bit of a raised texture to it, and um, it's a one color. It's very, very lightweight and movable, so it is great for hoodies. It's great for fleece, for full zips. You get the point, right? So if you don't want texture and you want to keep it simple, Transfer Express has a screen printed transfer called Goof Proof. And that is definitely what we would recommend. Now, to give you a quick material content, I believe this is a blend. And it is. It is 28% cotton and 22% 
poly. So um, poly and cotton blends are always great because you know that you are going to have very little um, shrinkage in the dryer. Okay, next is our Sport Tech Youth Trico Joggers. Now, these are perfect for everyday pants. You can pair them with the hoodie and make a jogger suit out of these. You could sell, sell these with t-shirts, um, with stay, in home, stay at home orders. Um, you know, I hate to even go down that road, but this is something that kids could lounge in and then make sure that they're still representing their sports team or even their school. Okay, so something really cool about the jogger is that you do have the zipper. And if you've never felt uh, the Trico, then, um, you know, it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. Um, normally the content is polyester. And let's see if I can pull that up. Yep, it's 100% polyester. Now, for something like this, um, you have a, a potential of scorching, especially with this glossy sheen. Let's see, can't really see it. Um, so in that case, we're going to recommend CAD Cut Ultra Weed. The reason why we're doing that is because Ultra Weed can be applied as low as 260 degrees. So you have a less chance for scorching. It's going to be one color, you know, one color, single single one application as well. But then if you're wanting a full color logo, the other option would be um, going with something like Ultra Color Soft from Transfer Express. But with this, definitely Ultra Weed. It's very, very thin and soft, so it should lay very nicely over the 100% the polyester. Okay, if anybody has any questions, definitely feel free to ask them. We do have some coming in, Kelly. Sure, go for it. Okay, so let me scroll back down. Rob oh, yep. <laughs> Robert wants to know, why should we buy from stalls instead of the big suppliers? Are the prices better for our blank apparel? Great question. So when it comes to purchasing from us versus going to the to Sanmar directly, is it keeps one invoice for you. You have one spot where you can go and purchase everything. So to give you an idea or an example, it would be um, your customer needs 24 t-shirts and you need to order white vinyl and you're cutting it in-house right on one order and one setting on the website, you can actually go and order your garments. You can also order your rolls. And then you have one invoice. You don't have to worry about ordering, um, you know, from multiple different places. So from an accounting you know, perspective, it is there to make it easier for you. Same thing for time. Um, that's, that's why we recommend it. Now, just to quickly show you, I am going to show my screen again. So if you are on, we're going to just go CAD Cut Direct, Heat Transfer Vinyl. Just give it a second because it likes to go slow. So let's say you need white. Now, I know I clicked thermofilm for most of the products that we're using. That's not the route I would go, but this is just strictly for um, show purposes. So I'm going to put one yard of white material. Maybe you're doing like just logos. So that is added. Then you can come over to blank apparel. We're just going to go ahead and, and click the first that we see. We're going bright and white today. Okay, so then here you can list exactly the quantities that you need. Add to cart. Now, let's say in this case, you're going to go ahead and put some numbers on the back of these tees. You can also add your pre-cuts 
Um, if you are using custom logos, you can go ahead and add or add everything there. So if you are one that constantly has jobs coming in and you need to make sure that you're keeping your artwork and your apparel items together, then this is a really, really easy um, resource to utilize. Okay, so hopefully that answers your question on that. Was there, were there any others? Yep, there's a few more coming in. Sure. Um, we had a question from Evelyn. She wants to know if we have any Black Friday sales coming our way. Um, on apparel, I do you know if we have any Black Friday sales on apparel? I don't believe on apparel. Okay. The um, the thankful we do have going on on rolled goods. Are you wanting specifically apparel, Evelyn, or are you looking for just in general? It's where that you know I can't have anybody else. To, <laughs> nobody else can talk back. I'll see if she writes back in, sure. and then you might be covering this later. Um, Terrell wants to know: Is it how is it possible to press on beanies? It looks like they've tried, and they are not having any luck. Sure, I can definitely show you. Um, once we go through, I wasn't planning on it, but I can easily show you a quick tip and trick. That's also um, a reel on Instagram today. So, but I am more than happy to quickly show you um, a, a little easy way to do it. Um, and really quick, just to add, if you can comment, um, are you having issues with scorching or the logo actually adhering? Is there any more? Uh, no, nope, not this time. Everything else I'm able to get through. Uh, oh, let's see. I am starting to see a couple as well. Was that, um, was that Terrell that you said? Yep. Okay. Okay, cool. I see that you're starting to, you're eating. But <laughs> you're answering some as well, right? Okay. I just switched off of polls and went to chat. So now, now we're back. Okay. Um, let's keep moving forward. Um, let me pull up my information. Okay. So the next for the that three quarter zip that or that quarter zip that I showed you. Um, this is the Youth Posi Charge. It's a quarter zip. It is a Sport Tech brand as well. And the code for that is YST397. Um, now, this one is also 100% poly uh, polyester as well. Now, one thing I will tell you about this is that it is very lightweight and breathable. Your, your polyester isn't super thick or plush, there's no fleece lining to this. So with something like that, um, especially being 100% polyester, I recommend that you go with Premium Plus too. So um, our premium, our CAD Cut Premium Plus comes in a high, a high tack and a low tack. Um, the only difference between the two is the stickiness of the carrier. It's the same exact material. Um, if you're doing really detailed designs, go high tack. If you're doing names and numbers, go low tack. So with the Premium Plus, it is one that I love to describe that it is like a balloon. It feels like a latex balloon, but the stretch and rebound is magnificent on it. When you have a garment um, that's 100% polyester and it has a lot of give and especially you can see how easy this, you know, crinkles up, not leaves a crinkle, but it, it can be wadded up in a tiny little ball. Premium Plus is just going to move with that material. The biggest difference between Ultra Weed Premium Plus, and I know this not is not a webinar on cat cup materials, but they are both low temp and they are both soft and thin. The biggest difference is Ultra Weed is great for lightweight t-shirts and Premium Plus is great for things that um, could potentially stretch and rebound. Ultra Weed is not going to have the snap that uh, Premium Plus does. 
Okay, so moving on out of kids and accessories, now we are getting into adult and unisex. So we have our, uh, let, me, let me find it, sorry, Port Authority ladies, and this is called the Collective Insulated Fleet, or Vest. Now, there's a couple of things about this. You have fleece lined right here. You do have the pillow-like puff to it. Um, it is a lightweight vest. It is not heavy by any means. It also covers the tush, okay? So why is that important? Well, Leggings are more and, uh, more and more popular right now. Same thing for joggers, especially if they're fitted joggers. I know you can't see how long this is um, as I keep stepping back. So it is long. It is completely covering my rear section. And, um, you know, if somebody wanted to wear leggings and go for a walk or that's just what we're wearing today, um, this is when this vest comes in perfect. So if you're looking for those garments to go to your customers and say, this is what you should be wearing at home, this is what your customers or your employees should be wearing, this is something I would definitely recommend. There isn't a drawstring here. But it's, it's like you have a whole nother location area. This is one um, that I feel like the locations are absolutely endless. Um, as you can see, we have a left chest. And then I also have a hip pocket. So let me take this off. Now, I chose the Cad Prince Glitter Flake. So as you can see, you can actually see the glitter in this. I would call this a little bit more feminine of a vest just because of the silhouette. Like I said, it covers the tail in the back. You do have that, lie, that high, low um, type of body. So it's higher here, lower in the back. But the other thing to keep in mind is that you could easily print on the side of this vest. Now here I am using our CAD Prince Super Tech Opaque. And the Super Tech materials are awesome to use because they can go on just about everything and that includes nylon. They also have a low application temperature of 280. So for this jacket, to give you an idea, you could do a back decoration. You could do something unique and go across. I'm getting reflection, sorry. It's the white. <laughs> Let's see if we can not have my light. Well, okay, guys. There is a line, there we go, right there that you could decorate. I wouldn't decorate the bottom on this case because it would be right below the rear. Might be a little awful, or not a little awful, a little odd. Obviously, left chest, sides on both. You could do something here and something here. And this is another one of those jackets that you could add um, CAD cut uh, 3M or you could add CAD cut reflective 2 and really, really um, enhance this jacket with reflectivity going down the side and you know pretty much all over this vest. So this is a huge win. And again, this was um, item L903, I don't think I told you that at the very beginning. Another option for this would again be the Premium Plus just because of that really uh, soft balloon-like feel to it. Soft as a bunny was our promo on that when we, when we relaunched our Premium Plus. Okay, same thing tried and true, this Bella Canvas Unisex. This is a full zip, okay? So this is one of those um, fleece everybody's wearing right now. It's uh, the streetwear is huge. You know that um, it's cold outside, temperatures have changed. Everybody is staying at home, nobody is dressing up. So this is the unisex sponge fleece full zip. That is BC3739. Um, one of the softest 
hoodies. They have really upped their game in the color offerings. You're getting more uh, colors versus, you know, your navy, gray, black, white in um, the full zip, especially for the end of 2020 and then 2021. Now, with this, the material of choice we recommend is our CAD Cut Soft Foam. Like I said earlier, for the tie-dye, it just brings a little dimension. You know, it just adds a little dimension. The soft foam is extremely soft. Um, I know it's called soft foam, but um, it, you know it feels great to the touch, and it's actually very easy to work with. If you are wanting another idea, or um, maybe somebody's wanting to do a full back on something, that's when you could easily go with the Cat Prince Permatwill. Um, and kind of take it more to an embroidered or a stitch-like effect when you're actually just using a heat press. There's that favorite item I love again. Okay, so this is the Sport Tech Ladies Triumph. It's the cowl neck. It's LST280. Now, I have gone and decorated this with what is called our cat, or excuse me, it's not cat prints. This is our flex style, you guys. And it's not picking up the texture because I'm too close. So there's actually little lines. It is raised. I'm going to try again from the side. There you can see the thickness on this. And then I've also branded it down here with the dome the flex style dome. So this is textured and this is dome. Now um, with this specifically, you do have that cowl neck. You can tighten it to make, um, you know, a little bit tighter. The drop shoulder, which is easier for women to wear if they are broad, if they are not broad. Um, you know, it, it works with a bunch of different sizes. Now, everybody loves thumb holes, so that's another little key element. You have this really, really nice scoop and split back hem with this detail going down the back. And then, of course, it is also a high-low as well. You do have um, a little bit more construction details on this with the seam this way and this way and then a front pocket. Now, you guys, same thing kind of like that vest. This is very, very retail. You will find this in high-end athleisure stores. You will find this all over the place. Now, with this specifically, the reason why I chose the texture, or, or excuse me, yes, the textured, the flex style textured, was because I wanted to elevate this garment. Um, you could easily go one color. You could do a, um, you know, ultra weed or premium plus. But with this specifically, adding in that textured like logo um, of the flex tile just brands to the next level. So um, I would either do textured twill or dome or the edge. Um, you could put leather on something like this, but the leather isn't going to wash as well. So on something like this that somebody's going to wear over and over, also think about durability and the type of logo you put on there. So one other thing as a recommendation would be um, our color reflective. So that's a, another one. Now, most of these products I'm talking about can you know easily transition from product to product so just keep in mind we're just trying to give you a one or two suggestion hey kelly yeah. really quick there was a question on the cowl neck sure is it heavy medium or lightweight the actual neck part would you say since you're holding it up right there i would say medium and the reason why i say medium is because as you can see it kind of does stand a little on its own but you can also push it down and it will stay down. Um, the reason why I wouldn't say it's heavy is because I didn't feel restricted in it when I, when I put it on. And it's not light because it's not flimsy. It does have just a little bit of structure to it. And it's a wider, it's about right here. 
So perfect. Thank you. Yep. Okay. So um, we have three more. Let's see where we're at. I'm missing it. Oh, the Port Authority Slug Police. Okay. So you guys, um, for I'm hating my lighting today. So thank you guys for bearing with me on this. Now, this is the slub fleece that is done by Port Authority. Um, if you don't know what a slub is in a garment, it's when it takes on that heathered-like look, but it has a very, very slight texture to it. So it's adding, it's more or less adding a little bit of characteristic. Um, and sometimes the slub can be very thin and sometimes it can be thick. In this particular case, it, it is a thick. Um, you do have a large back yoke. This is a very, very, very nice sweatshirt quarter zip. So I would call this, if you took um, a really nice uh, sweatshirt and merged it with a sweater like quarter zip. That's what this is. So this is again something that somebody could look very professional in on meetings, but they would also be extremely comfortable. It's a thick fleece, but it is also a soft movable. It's not rigid by any means. And this navy almost has a gray like hue to it. It really gave you a better idea once I brought it up close and personal on you know, the true color. So again, same thing. I just talked about flex style with the last item. You could still put flex style on this and, you know, just really elevate uh, this garment or you could keep it simple. Okay. So something like this could be uh, our ultra, ultra color soft from Transfer Express, or you could just go with an embroidered patch you could even just use, um, you know, ultra weed, single color logo, keep it simple. So for this specifically, I do recommend flex style because in my opinion, this is a little bit more athletic, but you have very, very retail elevated uh, products here. Okay, we are gonna do the black jacket last. The next one we're going to talk about is this dry duck. So if you're needing, um, my husband is in excavation. He is dirty all the time. This is the stuff that he lives in. Now, when you have a customer that gets dirty, consider the logo that you're going to use. How are they going to clean it? How is it going to wash? And I don't mean wash on durability. I mean wash on texture. So for something like this, I don't recommend embroidery because it's a thread. I know you can wash it and easy, but this is where thermofilm, thermo because it's abrasion resistant, it's a thick material, that's where this works perfect for this. This is very, very thick. You have, oh, a lot of these actually have these split pockets, so I'll show you that really quick. So you have a way to actually get in to the top layer of this without, you know, throwing it across the room because it's so thick. You do have the industrial zipper. It is, um, you can tighten here. And then, of course, you have pockets and then the ribbing on the bottom just to kind of keep any type of flow that would potentially come up, dirt, grime, you know, whatever they're living in. So for this particular one, um, you know, a, a, the 3M reflective, the reflective two, uh, just so that gives um, the person wearing it some reflectivity. Um, they may not be out in the road, but it's always nice to kind of shine, <laughs> kind of like, hey, I'm here just for safety purposes. Um, thermofilm as far as one to two colors go, um, but if you did want to elevate the logo instead of doing embroidery, I would go with our permatwill patch, which is what we showed here. So then all you're doing is heat applying. You're not having to worry about stitching and hooping, um, and then you could easily use multiple different locations. 
Okay, so the last product, before we get going, is there any other questions? Because this one is the three-in-one, and we're going to have to break it apart just a, just a little bit. I think we're good on questions right now. Cool, okay. So, now, this one, specifically. Oh, sorry, guys, the cornerstone duck cloth is C as in cat, S. J41. So that is the item number for this, this project. Product. Um, okay, last but not least is this Vortex Waterproof 3-in-1 from Port Authority. It is the ladies style and it's L332. Now I'm adjusting my screen a little bit. Okay, so it's black. Black is very hard to sometimes showcase, um, especially through photo and video. So bear with me if you can't really see a lot of details. I'm going to do the best that I can. There we go. Now it's lightening up. So um, here, one thing to keep in mind with this jacket. It states waterproof jacket in the title. And any type of waterproofing is very difficult and tricky. It's not difficult from an actual production standpoint. It's just we never know what type of coating is actually on top of the jacket. So anytime you see 100% polyester, great. But if you see waterproof, uh, water resistant, um, just know that that poses a red flag. It doesn't mean you can't get over or throw away that red flag, but definitely keep that in mind to do your own testing prior to committing to a job. There are times when there's coatings that we just can't get a heat apply or a heat transfer logo to apply. So this one I did play around with and I did get our Super Tech um, Subla Stop or our Super Tech um, opaque logo to work. Again, that's the logo I said that can pretty much go on anything. Super tech, it's super. I know it's kind of corny, but it works. So keep that in your back pocket always. Now, specifically for this jacket, this is a really, really nice, it has a great fit. Um, it does go past the hips a little bit. Let's see if I can just put this one on so you can see you know sometimes it's really nice to see the fits so this is a size medium as you can tell it does make room for the hips I might prefer to be in a small if you are trying to <laughs> you're trying to size me up um, but you have not only the adjustable strap right here you also have or the adjustable wrist. Inside this is elastic, which is the three-in-one factor. You have a pocket here. I thought there was another pocket. Yep, a pocket right here. Pockets down here. And then it is a, a little bit longer um, in the torso. It's also lightweight, but it's also very warm. So with this jacket, like I was saying, locations are always super important. Not only for branding purposes can you maximize a left chest, um, you could also do a wrist, you could do the top of the hood, um, you could do the back hip, but then you have a little puffer, gotta take the little snap out of it. That is also inside of it, okay? so. This is a little bit shorter on the hips. It's not as long as the full jacket, but this is where you get to utilize another left chest. Um, maybe you want to go across and do the back neck. Um, same thing down at the pocket. So like I was saying, um, it is a waterproof jacket. I have not washed this. Super Tech Opaque adhered, or excuse me, Super Tech Sub will stop. That's the one I had ready to go. It adhered wonderfully. Um, 
but I have not wash test and that's the next step in the process is to make sure you wash test. You don't want that waterproof coating to do, um, you know, to mess with that adhesive at all. And then the next thing you know, you have a logo falling off. So now um, there were a couple of secret pockets. Um, I've noticed that more and more brands have started to make decoration easier. So there is a, it's called a port pocket. Now, it does say it's, an, it's a clean pocket for embroidery. However, it works great when you need to build the product up for a heat press. Oh, it's right here. So here I have a Print Perfect pad. And let me just toss that to the side. So what a Print Perfect pad is, it's a very, very dense, almost um, mouse-like pad. And this is what I would just stick into this pocket and then make sure that the zipper has fallen off of the edge. That way, when it goes to sit on top of a heat press, My cord doesn't reach, can't go back to my press. Then your zippers fall off and that only puts the top part and your logo closest to the heating element and not the zippers that could melt or buttons or uh, snap. So you want to make sure that you get any type of seam, zipper, snap um, off of the, or a lower than your logo as much as possible. That way that's not restricting you from getting a good application. Now, um, let's see. Let me see. We have a couple of other um, questions that I just want to quickly ask, and then I will show you guys how to uh, do that beanie. I'm not going to actually heat apply, but I'll show you exactly how I made that one. Um, so the next question um, that we have is, and I'm just going to do this one. Um, what topics would you like to see covered in future webinars? If you enjoyed going over blank goods, um, you know, definitely let us know. We are constantly getting feedback from education on people that are maybe newer to heat decorating or if you consider yourself an expert and we want to make sure that we can, you know, just really give you the content that you need to excel in your business. So take a couple minutes, answer that one, and then I think we have one, maybe two more. But at least for those of you that are answering, we can take this back and go, okay, we need to do more of X, Y, and Z. Um, a couple of other tools that you can use are pillows. So this is something that you could use with one of the jackets or the youth hoodie because you do have that seam for that front hand pocket. This is actually what I used for the beanie. So I will show you that shortly. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I love the, the vinyl, what to use when with multicolors and effects. That's great, you guys. Thank you so much for answering. We really, really appreciate that. Um, okay, so let me show you how I did this. Now, um, if you guys have issues with decorating on a beanie, um, feel free to reach out to me and I'll do my best to troubleshoot with you. It's my email is Kelly, K E L L Y period Walters at stalls.com S T A H L S. And, um, because at that point I would love to know if it's more of a logo issue, uh, you know, if you're having issues with your heat press because you can't get the right temperature or if it's the products you're using are just failing you. So, um, there's so many questions to kind of dive into that. All right, so for this particular beanie, it does have the flap. So what you're going to do first is just take down the flap 
And then you're going to turn the beanie inside out. So the way I did this was just like that. And then because I wanted to make sure that I, I just didn't, you know, hinder it at all with the press. And I could have gone a little bit further down. As you can see, I got a little, little too close to the seam on this. I took my pillow. I just stuck it in there like this. And then when I laid it on the press, I made sure that this part was actually hanging off. Now, um, my screen went dark again. Okay, there is a little bit scorching here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. And normally, <laughs> I would try to hide all scorching possible. But keep in mind, this is the inside of the hat. You can see the sheen just a little bit. And then your logo is going to go right side up at the edge. That way, when you turn your hat inside out, and then you flip the hat again, you don't have any scorch marks, and then your logo is right side up. So for those of you that had any questions on that, hopefully this helped. If, um, if not, like I said, please feel free to email me, and we will do our best to get you situated and um, on the right path. Um, last question. We know we specifically went over Sanmar products. And um, there are so many different, uh, you know, vendors that we actually use when it comes to education. So my question is, where do you typically buy, buy your blank apparel? Do you prefer Sanmar? Um, oh. Stace, did I mess you up? Nope, you're good. I just ran it. Oh, okay, cool. Um, sorry, guys. SNS Activewear, Alpha Broder, or other. Other could be if you prefer to go through boutique wholesale, or maybe you really only decorate caps and you're trying to get into apparel. Other could be so many things. So I know we didn't list everything possible, but it at least kind of gives us an idea. Um, Stacy, do we have any other polls besides maybe like the type of year? Nope, I think we did all the ones we created. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see, I'll give it just a couple more minutes. If anybody else has any questions, pop them in the chat box. That way we can just quickly review them and get, get as many questions answered as possible. So sorry we didn't spend more time on the website, you guys. Um, I know it would have taken me most of the time to show you every single product on there. It's so, it's so silent. <laughs> we do have another question that just came in that I thought was pretty good. Yeah. Um, somebody wanted to know, do you ever try using the corner of the heat press or do you think that would throw off the pressure? Good question. Read the beanie. Okay, so um, you you could the only thing so anytime you adjust your pressure, you should you should have correct pressure throughout the entire platen and upper heating element. So, <clears throat> excuse me, if I were to switch out my here, we're gonna uh, okay. Good thing it's on wheels. So if I were to go like this, you could, um, it's just, it falls so easily. So I, that's why I found it easier to go, I'm just going to stick it in here like the right side up, like this, was because I could at least get my logo where I wanted it and then just slide it off a little bit. So I had more control over the logo placement versus maybe using um, adhesive tape and taping it on like that. Now, I don't know what type of press you have, but 
as far as hot tronics goes, anytime you adjust the pressure, you are adjusting the pressure for the platen. So if this was a four by four, an 11 by 15, um, if you're using the edge or say the side of something, you should have even pressure throughout the whole surface, not just the center. Um, you know, I mean, it, sometimes it is easier to change out the platens than use accessories, but this was pretty darn simple to use. And I have a follow-up question from a question you asked earlier. It looks like some issues that people are having with beanies are getting them or having them scorch, and that seems to be the issue. Yep. Okay. So um, I have not tried this with the acrylic beanie, and I am getting ready to do a not a ton of testing. I'm getting ready to test a lot of things for some beanies. This is going to be one thing that I'm going to be using. And oh no, it's not the Print Perfect pad. What is this? The flexible application pad. Got it. Um, so for those of you that don't know what this is, it is like silicone rubber. It's called the flexible application pad. And what it does is it helps disperse heat. So the idea for scorching would ideally eliminate. Sometimes there does has to have to be some additional testing. You don't increase your um, your vinyl or your product for longer, uh, excuse me, for higher temps. You just apply for a longer time. So um, this is one thing that I recommend trying to use. The other thing is uh, going with lower heated platens. Um, for those of you that maybe have uh, the three, uh, the 360, um, you do have upper and lower heat with that type of cap press. And then we make low heated platens for the heat press as well. That way you can um, eliminate the heat, the high heat on the top and put it on the bottom. Um, the, the most affordable way to test is to use this guy. Um, I will say I had some scorching on the three-in-one jacket. I also had a very high temperature. Um, and then I tested at a lower temperature, had a little bit of a sheen, and then I used this and I didn't show anything. So sometimes on sensitive products, unfortunately, you just have to test the wazoo out of them. I don't know if that completely answers the question, but at least gives a couple of hopeful solutions. No, it did. I think that was good. I'm just seeing if we have any more that are yep. coming through. I think I answered most of them. Um, oh, somebody asked, I did send them a um, chart from our website with different materials and our products, like a compatibility chart. Yep. But do you, do you want to share any experience you've had with polypropylene bags? They were looking for the right temperature or product. Um, okay, so polypropylene, originally Premium Plus worked, I believe, at 240 or 250. Um, I would go straight to Ultraweed now because it is an even lower material. Um, with it, with its starting temperature being at 260, I would give it a shot at, at 230 and then kind of work from there. I wouldn't change the timing at all, um, or your pressure, but because we're not we're not washing these polypropylene bags. We just need them to get it to it here. You know, they don't need to withstand soap and water, um, potential drying heat. So that's the route I would go. Another, another option would be, again, the CAD Print SuperTech products. They're a 280, and I, I know I've applied to an umbrella before. I think at that 240, 250 range. So for full color, CAD print super tech products, go with the opaque. You don't really need the to block the dye migration unless it's a white logo. Um, and then for single color, I would go ultra weed. 
Awesome. That sounds good. Cool. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Somebody asked earlier if we carry name brands on our blank apparel site, such as Nike, Under Armour, Adidas, but I assured them that that would be more on the Sanmar end and not on our site, unfortunately. Yep. Um, and honestly, sport tech products have, I mean, they just keep upping their game. Um, same thing for Port Authority. Port Authority has been putting out some pretty good products as well. So like I was saying on this, this is sport tech. Um, this looks to me something like Nike would have at um, Shields or Dick's Sporting Goods here in Kansas City. Um, so if you if your customer is looking for name brand, no, but keep in mind there are some really good products out there that resemble, you know, name brand or retail. Absolutely. Yep. I think we are good on questions. Cool. Let's see. Is there anything else that we missed? Maybe? Maybe not? Nope, just sharing um, where to find our videos, Dolls TV, and also our education page, too. I made sure to share those out. Perfect. Yeah, if you guys, um, if you don't follow us on YouTube, then make sure you go to YouTube some, and subscribe to the Stalls TV channel. We are putting out content weekly. Um, I believe at this point it might be even every single day um, when it comes to our Facebook Lives, our webinars, and then um, just videos that we shoot on a regular basis. Um, there's been breakdowns on beanies. There's been breakdowns on products to use. We're doing more and more breakdowns on apparel and teaming up with vendors. So, um, you guys make sure you use those as resources as, as well. Stay tuned, you know, for more webinars. Um, we're just really wanting to make sure that we get as much education, trends, how to's, um, you know, directly to our customers. I know that that will help you guys, you know, succeed in your business as well. Perfect. Right. I think that was everything, unless you think of anything else. We did all the poll questions. Um, the only other thing would be to check out the blog post, too, if they wanted to read further yes. on these material or these products. Yeah. So, you guys, blog, period, stalls, period, com. So, blog.stalls.com. Um, there is a... Uh, series for you to go and check out or a post for you to go and check out where there is, you know, it's not as many of the products that we talked about, but I believe there's five. They dive into the recommendation, um, why it's a great product. So that's another good resource. If you can't remember everything that we talked about, um, you can go straight to that blog and check out those products as well. Perfect. Yeah. I just shared the link for everybody too. Great. Okay, I think that's it, right? <laughs> I'm, normal, I'm used to saying bye, I'll see you guys next Tuesday on live. So this one's just a little different. So um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I know Stacy does as well. Again, I'm Kelly Walters and stay tuned for more education from Stalls. Thanks guys.